It was a classic referendum election, a wave election, when the party in power is held accountable for conditions in the country. In this case, very slow recovery from the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. This is At Brookings, a weekly in-depth look at the issues behind the news. This week, the 2010 midterm elections. The 2010 midterm elections were decisive and dramatic. A tapestry of heated rivalries, hard-fought campaigns, and high-stakes vitriol. The result? A GOP takeover of the House of Representatives, a weakened Democratic majority in the Senate, and a chief executive chastised. The Tea Party movement, a return to conservative policies, a changing of the old guard. Senior fellow Thomas Mann takes a closer look. Why do we usually have a midterm loss of seats by the president's party? It's a couple of things are going on. One, something we call surge and decline. In an initial election for the White House, the presidential candidate who wins um, attracts new voters that are excited about his candidacy to the polls. Um, the poetry of the campaign enlarges the electorate to say 60 percent, uh, roughly. Then two years later, uh, it's a midterm election and turnout drops by 20 percentage points, more like 40 percent. The people who are less likely to vote are the ones who were excited in the first place. So many of his, his uh, supporters, when he first got elected, aren't even present at, at the polls. So it's a different electorate. The, the other thing is, usually the pros of governing are tough, and the presidents have often experienced difficulties with war or with, uh, with the economy that, that leads to even greater losses during, uh, during this period. So we, we apply those lessons uh, to Barack Obama's first midterm. Um, huge decline in, in turnout rates as expected, but the very people who gave him extraordinarily high support and participated at higher rates than normal young voters and minorities ended up having a sharper fall off in, in their participation than other groups. Well, what did the Republicans do right in these midterm elections? The Republicans embraced uh, a strategy of unified opposition uh, to the Obama agenda. They announced it uh, really before he was inaugurated and they pursued it with gusto. Uh, he had promised a post-partisan uh, way of uh, uh, governing, and, and yet he was unable to entice Republicans into any serious negotiating. And then by using the power of the filibuster in the Senate, they were able to slow down, to weaken, to water down, um, occasionally to kill, uh, but always to discredit whatever managed to pass through the process and the relentless opposition served them well. What did the Democrats do well during the midterm elections? They prepared for this campaign. They knew a rough election was coming. Their candidates raised a lot of money. Their parties did. They, they were mean and prepared and ready to fight it out as, uh, as best as uh, they could, but in the end, uh, it wasn't sufficient. Well, Tom, what was going on that gave birth to the Tea Party movement leading into the midterm elections? The Tea Party movement, there is no Tea Party, but the movement is fully consistent with similar episodes in American history where groups of citizens, you know, always suspicious of the central government in Washington and, and kind of anti-elitist, sort of populist sentiment, um, organize and mobilize. You know, what happens is you get a fairly small number of activists who are really doing the work, but then a larger group that's sort of sympathetic. Yeah, that's right. These, these are hard times. Why is government getting so big? This is scary. Um, and then it grows. Uh, and then typically it collapses 
when the economy recovers and uh, a political party kind of absorbs some of the sentiment, that's what's likely to happen here. The Tea Party will be part of the Republican Party and occasionally a thorn in its side. The House has switched hands. The Senate is still in Democrat control, but only in a marginal sense. Will the gridlock continue? Absolutely. Uh, more intense. Uh, Republicans uh, will be encouraged by the success of their unified opposition the first two years um, and, uh, and largely continue it. And, and this is both because it appears to have worked, but also because their Green Party activists and others are saying no compromise. Stand on principle. Don't deal with the devil. Stay up to date with the latest research, learn about Brookings events, and search our directory of experts, all from your mobile device. To download Brookings for your BlackBerry, Android, or iPhone, go to brookings.edu mobile.